But let's get to the face of the NBA. I'm excited Ooh. to talk about this one. And Latrell, we're going to hit this with you when you come on uh, toward the end. So we, we're going to let, let you get yours, and I see you smiling back there. So, yeah, so Diego, who's going to be the next face of the NBA? LeBron's been it forever. He's mm -hmm. clearly going to be leaving in a couple of years, we think. Um, who Who's going to be the next face? <laughs> Uh well my my bet for the uh next face in NBA I got Jason Tatum winning it uh mm -hmm. most uh, one of the main wins I have him is because uh, I think that the Celtics are gonna win the championship this year he's mm -hmm. gonna be Finals MVP so that's gonna like establish him as like a winning guy and he's already won in the past and has a lot of accomplishments okay. and he's still really I think he's like twenty six or something like that so he's mm -hmm. um I think he's purpose stuff in that role he's marketable uh he wants to do it he said um around All Star weekend. So um, I think he I think he's a good guy to be the next replacement for, for being next face of the NBA. Nice but nice. Nice. one guy that um, is that, that I've, I haven't heard anyone say yet that could be next face is Wemby. Okay, yeah, he hasn't, yeah. Want, he hasn't really want, done anything yet. He's just he's just a rookie, so he, he hasn't really had time. But I think one in a couple of years he might be one of those one of those guys. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tatum. Hey, he uh, he turns twenty six a week from tomorrow on Sunday. Okay, uh, turns twenty six March third. Um, been here for if it, it feels like he's thirty five because he's been all the he's conference. A, he's, he's a Duke player, so I mean, can't yeah, all the conference championships he's been to and the finals and everything. Um, so I can I can see that he's definitely in, in the running. Um, if he wins the championship this year, like it looks like he probably right. will. Yeah. then um that would would help him and give him give him a leg up um a lot of people have said uh ant-man i've seen him he seems to kind of be the people's champ a person that, that might you know come on and take that um i need to see more from from ant-man uh again he's clear he's early in his career uh do i have the age of Ant ants 22 so okay. he's definitely you know when they get 23 years 24 that's when you you really can kind of tell yeah. Um, so he has a lot Tatum, of Tatum's been winning ever since he got into the league, but right. Ant-Man hasn't really done it yet. But he he has a really good team right now, so this mm -hmm. might be the year that he does it. So yeah, and and the so the face of clear you have to be clearly one, one of the top you got to be one of the top three players, right? Clearly. So that's one thing. And and Tatum has that. You have to be marketable, right? You have to be marketable. Tatum clearly has that. Mm -hmm. Um, but and you also just have to have that it, you know what I mean. Kobe had it. Michael had it. Uh, Larry and, and um, Magic had it. Um, LeBron clearly has it. I feel that it was clearly going to be Ja. And I don't even think it was close. Um, how Now, he had his off-the-court issues and he had injuries, but the off-court mm -hmm. issues derailed that. But he, at 22... It was like no question. He got the big shoe deal. Mm -hmm. You know, they were starting to, they were getting ready to totally push his marketing through the roof. And he was set up to be the next face. And then that, of course, became de derailed. Mm -hmm. um, I feel that if he comes back next year and is healthy, I, I think he's going to be a big MVP favorite. And if he stays healthy, I think he can get back in, in, in the running and be that because he he has the it factor more than any other player in the nba right right now yeah um luca give me your thoughts on luca and joker i know we talked about that earlier today uh because they're they're clearly some of the top players in the yeah. nba yeah i think they're some of the top players but i don't i don't know if they really want to because i've heard them kind of say that they just like mm -hmm. want to play basketball and they're not really into the whole marketing thing right. so um yeah, I, 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 they're both amazing players, but I don't think they're into the whole marketing thing. So, yeah, yeah that's yeah. kind of my thought on them. I don't see them. Yeah, I mean, Joker, Joker, I could see, you know, he he's funny when he wants to be, um, but he just he's not on all the time. You know what I mean? He just doesn't he doesn't want to give us that. We saw in the All-Star yeah. game, right? Mm -hmm. They were just kind of trucking up and down. Um, I feel that I feel that the the smart money, if I'm putting money, I'd probably go Ant. But um, because I just don't know if Ja can stay healthy. And that's what we're, he reminds me a lot of Derrick Rose. Uh, Derek Derrick Rose, and this is a little before your time, Derrick Rose was in line to be that next that next phase. Mm -hmm. He was the youngest MVP ever. And then that knee injury derailed all of that. But he was definitely in line for that. 
um, Steph Curry, he's one of the faces. Mm -hmm. He would have, if Draymond doesn't get suspended in the NBA Finals, Steph Curry mm -hmm. would have overshadowed LeBron, and he would have been the sole face of the NBA. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and I, I, I wish I had the picture of LeBron uh, crying with, with the with the trophy when they won the championship because he was not only crying because they won the championship, he was mm -hmm. also crying in celebration because that allowed him to be the face of the NBA for another <laughs> seven, eight years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. So, all right, man. So, hey, so the trail, man, tell us, man, who's who's going to be the next face of the NBA? Um, well, you know, while I was sitting here listening, um, I kind of looked at the ages, and um, mm -hmm. a, na a name that I haven't heard is Giannis. Giannis is still – Giannis isn't out of his 30s. I mean, Giannis isn't out of his 20s yet. Okay. That's okay. a name that's not getting brought up. Like, is he getting lost in – I don't know where he's getting lost at in the um, generations, but mm -hmm. they don't talk about him no more. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, you know, he's very impressionable. You know, he's good with the fans. You know, he's good with the media. Yeah. Um, he kind of he kind of had a little blow up last year when he lost, but – Right. You know, it happens. But other than that, he's been pretty much a media darling for the most part. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he don't get talked about at all. So that's a weird. I kind of just thought about that. I'm like, what about Giannis? Like yeah. before Ant-Man and, and Shay got to doing their thing, it was Giannis. And now we don't hear about him no more, you know? So it's like, what's going on over there? But um, I think Ant-Man got, got potential to be up there. Uh, John definitely dropped the ball like he dropped a big ball like he had it <laughs> he had he had the world in his hands he Man. had everything like the, they were literally handing him the keys to the league like they were it was gonna be Ja it was gonna be Ja and I don't think he can ever get back to there where he was supposed to be right but if he comes back in ball he could still be a great player and make a name for himself but the face yeah. I think he kind of lost that opportunity now with slip but I think you got to give it to um to either Ant. You know, he's a good prospect. Um, I just feel like his swag is what the NBA needs, you know. Yeah. Um, he's not afraid to say, oh, yeah, I'm him, you know. Mm -hmm. um, usually the younger guys are a little more timid, a little more shy. Like you spoke on earlier, you know, how Kobe and, and um, Jordan and Brian, you know, they all kind of – no, I'm him, I, you know, at a young age. And out of the young guys – Right. And man is really, you know, moving like that. He's chosen on the court, even though he still has to, you know, tone it in a little bit more and win some more. But that's the Minnesota curse. So it's the it's a curse. It's a it's a curse in Minnesota on, on all our teams, man. That's why.